So for today, day one, we are going to build an igloo. Why? Because, well, I'm in Florida right now and it is very, very hot here. So I decided to make something for today for the, for the first day of July that's nice and cool. Let's jump right into it. Here we are with our blank lot. First thing to do, decide where you want your door. I want my door to be right about here. One block goes right there in the center. That looks about right. And you're going to go five across, two, three, four, five. We're going to basically build a dome. And you're going to go two this way, turn and go two this way, and then another five. Two, three, four, five. And you're going to go two this way, two that way, and then another five. One, two, three, four, five. Two this way, two back that way. One, two, three, four, five. Two this way and two back that way and if you did everything right it should join up and look like a circle something like this okay on to the next layer so we're going to start by putting three on the middle of each one of these long sides one two three one two three one two three then from this one, we're going to put one there and one onto the side, just like this on each side. Make each side look just like that. Put one on that one and one next to it. One on this and one next to it. Same thing over here. Now put a temporary block, one on top, and get rid of the temporary block in each corner. Now, your second layer should look like this from the inside, and like this from the outside. Okay, the next layer up. We're going to start from the corners and build ourselves out this time. So you're going to put one on top here in an L shape like this at each corner. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now you're going to build five across each one of these gaps. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll look just like that on each side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So it should look something like this. You can see that dome shape starting to really look good now and then the outside should look something along these lines next we're going to start by putting three across each long side right here one two three one two three one two three one two three Then we're going to make a W shape on this corner. So we're going to put one on each one of these and one in the middle of each there. So these two poking out right here, we're going to put one on top of each one, one in the middle and one on each side. So it closes that gap just like this. Again, one on top of each one of those, one in the middle and one on each side and one on each side. So now we're slowly building up and you should look something like this starting to look like an igloo next we're basically just going to put a temporary block here break that out now we're going to put one all the way around this empty space right here so anywhere there's an empty space you're just going to basically make an outline on the inside all the way around Okay, next we're going to come up here on the top and we're going to do the same thing that we did with this one. We're just going to make an outline. So we're going to come up above this one and come in and over and in and over and in 
and back should when you are done be left with an opening that looks like this then on top of each one of these holes put a temporary block in the hole put one on top and just like this to oh, to close it up leave this one open we're gonna use that in a minute so your inside should look like this I'll go kind of slow that way you can pause it and double check corners your sides all the way around like this so now here is your door I like to make the door come out just a little bit so where this door opening is come across three then come up one two one two one two three okay there is the basis of your igloo so what I like to do I like to take my top snow which is just the layers and just randomly go around and put some layers of snow in different places to kind of make it look a little bit rougher if that makes sense a little bit more texture to it then just spam click the ground all around your igloo just so you have some texture to your snow and here we are I've got some snow on the ground as well just uh, vary the heights on it a little bit of snow on the roof on the top around in different places just to make it look a little bit different uh, put a couple more here maybe it just adds a little bit of texture and interest to your build so now that we have all of that done let's build the path going up to it so and the floor so break out all of your path break out your floor for the path and the floor I like to make it basically look the same and throw in just a few pieces of cobblestone and fill in the rest with tough so it's not got a lot of texture but it's a little bit okay so same thing in here we'll throw in a few pieces of cobblestone mixed in not a lot it's actually going to be more tough than the cobblestone and then fill in the rest with cobblestone except actually except the very middle the middle use mud blocks and put a three by three square so it's put right in the middle now fill the rest in with tough so it should look something like this this right here is going to be where we put our fireplace so I like to start by putting my solid cobblestone. The first one goes right there in the middle, then come down one, two, three, four more. Put my fire right underneath that. Then on each corner, one cobblestone on each corner. One cobblestone wall on top of each one of those. And then around this one, we're going to put stairs all the way around it, turning the corners so that way they look like that. I like the way just the plain cobblestone looks um, for this one thing. Um, if you don't, you can always change it up. You can use deep slate. You can use some of the tough blocks. You can switch it up however you want. And then I like to do one little thing I like to take this middle block out now the smoke looks like it's going up so see when the block is there you can see the smoke stopping right so we take that block out and now it looks like it's flowing right up that chimney okay then on each corner here 
put an iron gate. Sorry, iron bars rather. Uh, if you wanted to, you could put a trap door there and use this to cook your food. Um, you can slap your food on there and cook it and you're not using any resources. So there is your fireplace. The basis of all the light and heat in here. Let's go outside up top and make it look like the smoke is actually coming out now. So to make this look like there's actually smoke coming out of the top of the chimney, break this block so it's one down inside, put a campfire down in there, and then I like to put an iron trap door on top. So it looks like it's sealed, but it'll still show the smoke coming out. So, so far, that's where we're at. Looking pretty plain, but we've got the basic bones of it going. Now let's come in here and start decorating. We're going to put the bedroom right over here. So we'll put down a gray bed. I like to use the dark gray. Um, I think it just kind of looks different. Put a barrel facing that way and then come up here. You want to jump and place the barrel so you've got two different directions if you want. Um, I like to change it up a little bit. Make them looking different directions. And then on top of this one, if you crouch, you can set a lantern on top of that as well. Then right here at the foot of the bed, put down some dark gray carpet. Keeps your feet warm. Next, we'll come over here and put a little area, like a weaponsmithing area. Again, put a barrel, put a barrel, make them facing two different directions if you want. I like to put my smithing table in the middle, put an anvil on one side, grindstone on the other, and then put, oops, put trap doors all the way across. Or just on those two, and hang a lantern right there. You can click there, it'll go, or if you click on the bottom, then it'll actually hang or you can put it up here, however you want to do that, okay? Next, we'll come over here and we'll put a small crafting area. So we can put our crafting table there, put another, put our barrel here facing up, put the barrel here facing up if you can do it. There we go. I just think that looks more like a cabinet. Um, put a furnace on each side. And a chest on each side here and here. Again, put another, la uh, another lantern hanging it up right there. And we've got a small crafting area and let's put down a little carpet right here again so our feet don't get cold right under here right under here never have too much storage so I usually put a lot of storage around and then and then another carpet right here so if you wanted to you could even put some trap doors here I'll put another barrel right here. And there we go, a couple of armor stands. Like I said, this is a starter base. You can change it up however you want to. Put some item frames up here. Put some banners up around. Make it look however you want on the inside. This is just a basic setup that I like to use on something like this. It's got a little bit of everything just to get you started. And now let's come outside. Let's finish off the outside out here. And there we have it, some landscaping around. I took some uh, of the big spruce trees. To get those, you plant four saplings together and Either weight or bone meal it, and then you'll get the podzole around too. And I like the look, the look of the podzole. This is the smaller one, and then some of the birch trees that everyone loves to hate on, but I actually like it with this build because it looks 
it kind of complements the white. Then I bone mealed the grass all the way around. I bone mealed some of it to make it the tall ferns and the tall grass in a few places. And then I replaced all the flowers and added in some more so it's only the blue cornflower and the white lily of the valley. That's the only flowers around. And one thing I always like to do, and this is kind of like a little tradition of mine, is I like to wait until the very end to put the door on and make it official. And I actually want the door on the other side. So you come from the inside, then it'll have a little bit of a cutout going in. And the same thing on the outside. So there we have it. Day one in the books. Make sure and subscribe so that way you can be here for day two. There's the empty spot for day two. I've got a fun one planned for tomorrow too. So make sure and check back tomorrow and we will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.